You must have heard people say that entrepreneurs are risk takers. What do they mean when they say that? Do entrepreneurs jump off the cliff into the ocean? Or do they make big bets in Vegas? Do they fly through life by the seat of their pants? Chances are entrepreneurs are thoughtful, responsible people who wake up every day to work hard to build businesses that pay their bills on time. In fact, without that, the companies and organizations that they build would probably not survive long enough for us to be talking about them in the first place. Yet we continue to think that entrepreneurs are swashbuckling risk takers who are very different from the rest of us. Fact is, whether you are an entrepreneur or not, life is full of uncertainties. Will it rain today? Will we get the job that we dream about? Will the person we are in love with love us back? Look more closely and you will see that life is as full of risks for us as for the entrepreneurs or anyone else. Yet we will also see that all uncertainties are not the same. That was the insight that economist Frank Knight had in 1921 when he described three types of uncertainty and showed how we can understand and deal with each of them. In order to understand the three types of uncertainty, let's consider a statistics game. Yes, professors love statistics. Imagine a box containing five green balls and five red balls. You win the game if you draw a green ball. Since you know the exact number of balls in the box and the fact that there are only two colors, you know that you have a 50-50 chance of drawing a green ball. In other words, you know the distribution of the balls even if you don't know what your individual draw will be. That is what Frank Knight called risk. There are many examples of risk in life, everything from chances of rain in any given month to life expectancy. To the extent you can find repeatable instances from the past. In other words, calculate the distribution of balls inside the box. You can place a calculated bet on the outcome. Now let's look at the second type of uncertainty. Consider a box which contains balls, but this time you don't know how many balls are in the box, nor do you know how many different colors there are. The only way to calculate your chances of drawing a green ball is to open the box and count. If you are not allowed to do that, you will simply be guessing and you will have to keep drawing and keep counting and trying to create a mental map of the number of colors and the number of balls in each color. And that is difficult to do. This time, you will have to use trial and error, experimentation, lots of calculations over time before you can calculate the odds of your drawing a green ball. Frank Knight called such situations uncertain. Unlike the merely risky situation in the first box, uncertain situations are more complicated and difficult to understand and cope with. Uncertainty is more like finding that girl or boy of your dreams. Not only don't we know how many possible life partners are out there waiting to fall in love with us, we don't even know whether there are any at all. But the most interesting type of uncertainty that Frank Knight talked about was in the third box, that could contain anything at all, not only balls. Imagine your entire future and the future of the world in that box. How will you know whether and when you will draw a green ball? Chances are there is absolutely no way to make that calculation. There's only one answer to playing this game of true or Knightian uncertainty, and that is not to play the guessing game at all. Entrepreneurs learn the hard way that the future is more like that last box than the first two. So they learn not to play the guessing game. They decide not to waste time trying to draw the green ball or any ball at all. Instead, they seek to build the box and stock it with things they care about. They don't wait for someone to give them a job. They decide to create their own jobs and create more jobs for other people as well. Entrepreneurs don't take risks, nor do they try to predict an uncertain future. They simply roll up their sleeves and make the future, working with other people who are willing to work with them. So the next time you hear someone say entrepreneurs are risk takers, even if that person saying that is himself or herself an entrepreneur, tell them about the three types of uncertainty and ask them to think about making their own future and other people's future, rather than finding the future that is supposedly out there. And roll up your own sleeves and start digging. 
not for you know finding hidden treasure, but for building, making, constructing, creating something new for yourself and for others who want to work with you.